faithful few welcome back to my channel yo 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 what's up girl hey girl hey it is totally time for me to do a pregnancy update video i've been kind of putting it off though for many reasons um one mainly is just that there's not a lot to update you for throughout the week i always like to keep at the forefront of my mind you know what are things that i can write down like measurable noticeable pregnancy update Things. just haven't really had any for the last two weeks and so I've put off making this video I'm not usually a procrastinator so this is my 17 and 18 week pregnancy update 17 and 18 weeks yeah yeah there's not a lot to necessarily say that changed other than I had a little bit of an increase in sickness around 17 I think mm, around the end of 17 weeks and the beginning of 18 weeks I had a little bit of increase in um, sickness and that genuinely might be the stress of finding out that we have to move if you haven't seen that vlog um, I'll link it up above talking about all of our big life changes and I really think it just kind of made me panic and my body go into panic mode and carry a little bit more stress and throw up a little bit more <laughs> so there's not a whole lot of things to say other than just I'm getting bigger and I've really noticed that noticed oh my goodness it feels like I gained like three pounds overnight and I went and weighed myself when I was at the gym and it was like two and a half pounds like it was true so I, I definitely feel like my body has is shifting now from like this huge hormone drop that's making me sick and just like the start of pregnancy, the classic, all those symptoms, and more into like, we are now growing, 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 growing what we've already produced. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm um, sleeping is getting a lot more uncomfortable. I've had a lot of back aches because I can't really get comfortable. Leg pain, I, if you don't know, varicose veins runs in my family. And so I'm definitely, 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 definitely increased more pain in my veins and that achiness because I have more blood in my body now, especially on my right leg. And so I'll elevate and that's the best way to um, kind of get rid of the pain as quickly and as efficiently as possible. I'm really able to focus more on nutrition than I ever have yet in this pregnancy um, because I'm feeling a little bit more back to myself. Okay, sorry, my battery died. But yeah, I'm having just like a little bit less crazy cravings and a little bit more, just feeling a little bit more like myself where I can eat healthy. Healthier. So yeah, I think mainly my mind and my heart is just so focused on all this stuff that's going on in our private life of needing to pack and move and all that kind of stuff that I'm just not there. But also we're getting to like that halfway mark. The halfway mark is probably like the sweetest part of pregnancy. At least from what I remember from my first pregnancy. Like I'm only gonna get more uncomfortable from here on out. It's only gonna get harder to sleep or harder physically on my body. So I just kind of want to enjoy it where I'm at and soak all the ease in that there might be. I still get sick really quickly and my blood sugar drops pretty quickly and makes me sick and but overall I'm at the best part I've been than I guess at the very beginning when I first found out I was pregnant I couldn't tell seriously leave a comment down below if you're about the same weakage as me in your pregnancy and if you're having a harder time or an easier time and if any of the symptoms I've mentioned you know correlate with yours let's read some facts so this is week 18 um about five and a half inches almost six inches and almost seven ounces. Oh, baby kicks. Yeah, I'm definitely having baby kicks, but I think I've already mentioned that in a previous video. Back aches, leg cramps, varicose veins, trouble sleeping, increased pressure in your veins. All the things that I just mentioned, they, the only thing that they say that you might struggle with that I don't struggle with is swollen feet and or hands but maybe they're swollen i just kind of always have had like chunky toes and fingers chunky toes and fingers let me show you my bump there she blows i think i'm like finally getting to the point where i can wear like a tight tank top and people can tell i'm pregnant or maybe that I'm pregnant and I look less like is she just fat like is she just eating too much spaghetti <laughs> you know so that's kind of fun thank you so much for watching comment down below if you can relate if you're at a similar spot in your pregnancy or maybe not even but um thank you so much you guys are the best <laughs> and if you haven't already you should definitely go watch my other videos because that's totally where like my heart and my mind are right now um about us moving all of a sudden ah I'm not even gonna go into it you just go watch those videos it's crazy okay I love you guys bye